guys welcome back to my channel so I'm really really excited for today's video because in this video I collaborate with the fellow youtuber Melva Garcia and um, it's her first collab and my first collab so we're really really excited and uh, so we got together and we decided that the theme for this collaboration it's going to be our makeup for the date night and um, Melva gonna do on her channel more sultry, more sexy, smoky, bold uh, look. And on my channel I did a more soft, more romantic look. Melva is a um, beautiful woman that loves makeup and she does um, YouTube for fun. Her channel really stood out to me because um, she does very bold, kind of unique looks and she does make it look so easy to cre recreate. Go um, check out her channel, check out her video and her part of the whole um, date night look. And if you want to see how I got this um, romantic daytime uh, look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I already fill in my eyebrows and prep my eyelids. So we're ready to jump into our first shadow, which is going to be from Morphe 35B palette. And I picked up this light peach shade and I apply it as my transition using a fluffy brush. Next, from the same palette, I picked up this corally shade and I apply it in my crease and also towards the outer corner. I was kind of winging it out and creating a V shape. Next, I took Morphe 35O palette and using this beautiful brick color, I further defined my outer corner and still trying to build up this uh, V shape and of course, after that, I blend everything together so there is no harsh line. To create a base for my lids, I took this pearly peach color from the same palette and I pressed it into my lids using my ring finger. Some more blending and we are ready for a yummy part. I took Stila Liquid Glitter Shadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro and I packed it on my lids and then using a tiny brush I blend the edges. Then I took NYX matte liner and I lined up my lash line and created a wing. I wasn't planning to use a um, liner in this video but I'm just addicted to wing liner. I think this look will look gorgeous without it so this step is optional. Next, I curl up my lashes and for mascara, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara and I applied a couple coats of it on my top lashes. Then I applied some falsies off camera and for this, I was using this gorgeous Lashes by Ardell number 811. Moving on to skin for primer, I'm using a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and for foundation, I'm using a mixture of L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation and Maya's in the shade 205 and also Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and this one in the shade 02 Natural and I'm applying it using my damp beauty blender. For concealer today, I'm using a Becca Aqualuminous Perfecting Concealer and I'm concealing and highlighting with it underneath my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, running down the bridge of my nose and then I'm blending everything out using my sponge. Next, I took Marc Jacobs Coconut Gel Highlighter and using my ring finger, I apply it on my cheekbones and then I further blend it out using my Beauty Blender. To set my under eyes, I took Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I used this top middle banana shade and I just press this product using a brush under my eyes where I apply my concealer. And using the same palette with the bottom middle shade, I lightly contour my nose. For bronzer today, I'm using my favorite butter bronzer by Physician Formula. And I'm just warming up my face, kind of dusting it all over. For 
for blush I picked up another favorite of mine Milani baked blush in the shade uh, luminoso and I'm lightly applying it on the apples of my cheeks and dragging it upwards for highlighter I picked up my good old friend Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I apply it on my cheekbones for extra glow and also the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. With the same highlighter I'm highlighting my brow bone and inner corner of my eyes. For my lower lash line I decided to keep it super simple and I just smoke out the corally shade that we use in the crease and then I coated the lower lashes with some mascara and that's it. To set my makeup I use Milani Make It Last setting spray. And for the lips I'm using a combo of Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudist Peach. And then I top it off with a Maybelline gloss in the shade Glistening Coral. And that's it for this romantic date night look. Make sure that you go and check out Melva's video on her channel. Give her some love. Subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.